Welcome to uh, a video that uh, I'm gonna cringe a lot to, I think. <laughs> this is made by Tiramis. This is the thumbnail of the video. And the title of the video is Has the goat, fall goat fallen off his throne? Well, thanks for that title, Tiramis. Appreciate that. But yeah, it's apparently a um, documentary style type of video that Tiramis has made. Where is this even from? I have no idea where this intro shot is from. I don't recognize this at all. Oh, this is uh, skydiving. It must be skydiving. Okay, let's uh, let's let's watch. I'm excited and ready to cringe. Let's see. He is the goat, the greatest player of all time. And what makes what? him so crazy? Wait, wait, wait. These are clips that I are long gone in my memory book. Let me have a look. The greatest player of all time. And what makes him so crazy? It wait, is wait, I need, let's, I'm sorry. I just have to pause at this. <laughs> my brother in the background. <laughs> oh, good times. And what makes him so crazy, it is how incredibly dominant he was, and still is. I was beating him, and he was playing bad. <laughs> I knew he will eventually fix his problems, and he will beat me. I knew he would be one of the best. This already feels like it has been so much work. You know Age of Empires 2, or at least the name, because it's been around for 20 years. It might yes. look a bit different from what you remember, and I don't mean because there has been an HD and a definitive edition that came out that improved the graphics and the playability of the game, no, no, no. What I mean is that you probably remember playing like this. Freddy, chop chopper, correct, well, I'm chop chopper, yay. But the way chop, the pros chop, play the game is a completely different universe. Look at Tiramis! Wall, which is the art of placing buildings fast enough to trap enemy units. They balance their economy to maximize their villagers' efficiency. They control every single unit in every single fight. They plan ahead, they strategize, they adapt, and all of that for hours on end. Age of Empires 2 is not an easy game. It might be, in fact, one of the hardest games to master. But there is one guy for whom all of this seems kind of trivial all right. i don't know about that Good to know. Um, and then... i want to win every tournament i play if i don't win then i consider it a failure and winning where is this did. from erin larson was born in december 1991 in norway he plays Tiram has nailed the pronunciation of my name by the way where... look how much hair i had listen to the pronunciation and winning he did erin larson was damn solid pronunciation damn in December 1991 in Norway. He plays under the nickname The Viper, and between 2012 and 2020, he has gathered quite the resume in the Age of Empires 2 community. Uh, yeah, Clash of the Titans was probably the one where I was like, okay, that's I am actually good. one of the best, or like potentially the best. Look how young we were. <laughs> For those who don't know, this is Masmora. There is Nilly, Mr. Yo, Jordan in the background, and me, of course. Yeah, this is like this is about eight years ago. Sick. And he did the Viper. The Viper took the tournament with a crazy bada boom. Nilly's Department Cup champion is the Viper, the big favorite, the best player in the world. He made it happen again. Microphone quality has increased and improved a lot as well, I would say. I'm pausing a lot now, sorry. Let's, it's just like so much old footage that I like had forgotten existed. And the most dominant player probably of Age of Empires time. Ay, 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 the Viper. The Viper 5-3. Nobody's taking the snake. But there's the good game from Tato. He knows he couldn't hold on any further. Good game was played. Congratulations, the Viper. Game over. 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 It's not a surprise, he played so amazingly in those last three games. Vipers all smiles. Uh, what a beautiful finish to Nui's Apartment Cup 3. Instead I'm cringing a bit. Four, which is what it was at NAC3, it was a 4-0 for Viper. And look, these clips aren't enough to show Viper's dominance. He won eight major tournaments in a row. For seven long years, no one could beat him. The number two spot was very contested, but they never got close to Viper's level. Until... Obviously, I don't want to take any breaks or anything. I would love to just keep going at it, but I think at this point, it's like if I want to have any chance of kind of saving my competitive career at least, I think I have to take some serious uh, precautions now. Mr. Yo sweeps the Viper in a best of seven final. 
This got Early emotional. In 2019, I started feeling discomfort and issues with my wrist. Viper, who normally makes it to the finals and wins, will not make it to the Red Bull Wololo 2 final. I never thought much about it. It was just like, okay, well, after I played a couple of hours, it was a bit like, a bit annoying on my wrist, but it was like, I didn't do anything about it. And the GG is called. Velez knocks out Viper in the quarterfinals. Time passed. It slowly got worse and worse to the point where earlier this year, I had a situation even where I just had to stop playing because my wrist actually hurt. There will I be so that. much discussion about the Viper. Is this dynasty over? What happened there? What are the excuses this time? For Hidden Cup, as an example, uh, I played two days in a row with Jordan, like six hours of full tryhard grinding. Hera has finally, after so many uh, big struggles against the Viper over the last year, done it in the biggest of moments, Dave. The third day I was supposed to train as well. I couldn't use my mouse. I, my, I just, something felt so wrong. I couldn't, like, it just feels like something is blocking my movement. And it was, uh, that was a scary feeling actually then. It's a fact, the Norwegian dominated the scene, but 2020 marks a big shift in the Age of Empires 2 history. The definitive edition just came out and all of a sudden there is a lot more players. There is bigger prize pools, better events and stronger competition. Combine that with Viper's wrist injury and it seems like his era might be coming to an end. I can absolutely see why you put Lyria as one. I can absolutely see why well, it has to be so dramatic, man. But damn, like already now the amount of digging you must have done for footage just for this. Oof. That's a lot. So you see why you put Hera as one. Viper could be number three. I don't feel like I'm playing worse. I feel like I might be slightly less consistent. And while previously his fans were secretly hoping he would lose because him being so dominant was actually bad for the scene, we've now come to a point where everybody is hoping to see Viper perform like in the gold days. Is this true? Did you guys hope I was gonna lose? Is this true? Or is Tiramis outing all of you guys right now? Yes, 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 no, no. I mean, I see a mix actually there. <laughs> Did he just out all of my viewers and my fans? Yes, eat dirt. Screw you. Okay. But now you're hoping I'm going to win, right? So, okay, I'm, I'm fine with it. Will he ever win something again? It's... Wait, Tiramis, what it. you got on your wall? Bro, <laughs> why am I on your wall? Wait, Tiramis, dude. <laughs> why am I all over your wall, bro? <laughs> dude, chill, take a chill pill. You're working for me. You're... Okay, let's carry on. Please. Will he ever win something again? It's 8.30 in the morning. We are currently training for the Red Bull Volo 5. Exalted viewers, welcome to Heidelberg Castle for the sixth and final day of Red Bull Wallalo 5. Some of the most incredible and iconic games of Age of Empires have already been witnessed, but it was all just a prelude to this. A Good chance times. to grasp greatness within reach here for Leary and the Viper, and all that remains is for us to sit back and enjoy the grand final. Viper wins and Leary calls it for game number one. Leary is going to take game number two here. We have a 1-1 one, one final. Viper is playing so good at the moment. He took a calculated risk. Leary came into his base with those scouts, did a ton of damage, but it wasn't enough. And look at how weak these units are. These units will not survive and Viper takes the victory. Leary's home map of wing, Viper is up three to two. He just needs one more game to take the championship but here at Red Bull Wallalo 5. Oh no, this is disaster for Viper. He's losing his army at home and he's losing his army in Leary's base. Leary is microing against Cosmos with it's archers GG. and it's GG. GG. Leary taking it. We're going to a game number seven here at Red Bull Wall of the Wow. He had never practiced this hard for a tournament. Don't share any secrets, okay? He had never <laughs> wanted to win more than in this very moment. Yeah, my dad was able to come as well. PK said, you guys know, uh, AOE Zone creator. The reason I started playing this game. And it began. The game that not only would crown Red Bull. Where is this from? How do you find, this is like, this is something I just recorded on my phone. I didn't even publish this. Oh, okay, Mortar Viper Vlogs, okay, fair. Zone creator. 
the reason I started playing this game. And it began. The game that not only would crown Red Bull Lolo 5 champion, but that could also mean the end of Viper's era. Or the return of his dominance. We're into the game, Tristan. Leary is at home with the Berbers, and Viper is on the attack with the Teutons. Viper is, is a bit more all in. Leary wants Castle Age. He needs to do damage in the next couple minutes. I don't see him getting much more. The Spearmen are there. Leary and Castle Age. Leary's going to be making knights. The pressure's coming in from both sides. It's going to be so difficult. Yeah, Viper's held on very nicely through the beginnings of this Castle Age, and he is on the way to Castle Age himself. The pressure Ow. is on for both of these players and what? all the skirmishers what? going down for Leary. Viper's coming back into this game. Look at how much military is coming. Look at the production, Tristan. Yep. And Leary falls back to and a very defensive that's castle. Not, there's no gold left there. Camel archers are sick, Dave. The one unit you want against Teutons in this matchup is probably the camel archer. Yep. Viper has some work to do, but cutting. This is pretty hype. Already watching, like, reliving this a little bit. That wood line is so good. I think Viper, he is going to really put a lot of focus on preventing Leary from expanding. Viper's already up, and he's going for a forward castle. If Viper gets this position, which Leary now has realized he has to give up, Viper can win this game. Look at Leary cut into that little corner like you were talking about. Viper just wants to hold him in there. He's out of stone, Dave. From he Viper, and he's stone. out of stone. He needs to free himself, and Viper no needs way. to keep him here, and Viper holds on to that castle. Viper is raiding over on the right-hand side here. This looks so good for Viper. Whoa. And he's killing the villagers on the gold. They're desperately running for the TC. They're faster because they're Berbers, but not fast enough. And Leary is trying to hold on desperately. All the TCs from Leary are flashing on the mini-map here. And I think he's done it. Viper's done it. Viper's done it. The King of Age of Empires is back on his throne. Red Bull Wallalo 5 champion. Oh, what a moment. Game 7, and Gamer his team, Legion. His team goes to congratulate him. What a moment. This is absolutely magical. This is so scripted. It's not a moment. I just have to game. point out. <laughs> 7, and Gamer Legion. Team. Julian. Oh, what a moment. Game 7, and Gamer his Legion. Team. His team goes to congratulate him. What a moment. This is absolutely magical. This is so scripted. It's not even funny. It does feel like that. His girlfriend is there. His best friends are there. I'm uh, just so thankful. I have so many people supporting me and wishing me well and wanting me to win. And I feel bad because I feel like I've let down my fans over the, the four previous Red Bull tournaments. So uh, just, yeah, just massive thank you to everyone who's supporting me. And uh, yeah, I cannot be more grateful. But yeah, we won Red Bull World of Five. It's not too bad, is it? Not bad indeed, and with the winds blowing in his sails, he will win King of the Desert 4 that same year. But overall, he gets first place in only two of the seven major tournaments of 2022, and in one of the five major tournaments of 2023. So yeah, his results are getting worse in the past three years. But to fall off his throne, someone else would need to become as dominant as he was for eight years. Well, guess what? We have a challenger. Please. That was a sick shot. My name is Hamza and I've been playing this game for like five years now. I'm Palestinian initially, but I was born young here. I've lived here all my life basically. And I'm 19 right now. But when I was young, like let's say eight, my brothers were playing it like uh but really like total noob, like on single player and stuff. And uh one day I found uh I think I needed a tutorial on a campaign and I found Zero Empire channel. Zero and, Empires. Uh, then I started playing this. And while he seems super casual when he says, Then I started playing this. He had already reached a very high ranking on the ladder, but he was hungry for more. Mom, mom, you can't come. With his natural drive for competition, he started <laughs> grinding like a proper gamer. And Hera plays his first tournament, which was actually a qualifier for the first AOE2 major LAN event that would be held in the Maldives. He loses 3-0 in the round of 16. Was that his first ever tournament? Trying to qualify for Maldives? To a Brazilian named Riot, who ended up not only qualifying, but reaching the winners finals of that LAN event. But in 2016, Hera quit. Viper and Hera were playing some games against each other, and Hera had lost wow. the Age of 3. Jokingly, he said he would quit the scene if he lost this fourth game. Well, he did say if he loses, he quits the AOC, so... 
See but ya. it was not a joke. That shows how competitive Hera is and how dominant Viper was. Hera came back the following year but left again in 2018. And in 2019, things changed. So around Hen Cup 1, I was watching uh, the games on my break from work at a nearby restaurant. And so I was really enjoying it. I was like, wow, I, I really want to do this. And so on that break, I never went back to my store. I quit my job on the spot and I said, I'm going to stream and I'm going to really double down because I want to play in these tournaments. And he did. Good he choice. plays and stream more consistently and by early 2020 when Viper's results start to fall shorter than usual, it's become clear Hera is on the rise and he's already considered a top 5 player. And and the reason I was looking for a more serious team is because now I'm full time Age of Empires so I can't afford to be around. I just wanted a more serious team. That's what I was looking for. Goal got to perform well. So he joined the team with MBL. Hera has looked unstoppable today ah i feel pretty good i came into this tournament expecting or hoping to at least make it to you know quarterfinal maybe semi-final and i'm now going to the grand final so it's definitely way more than i expected or wanted and i'm really happy about it will you prepare any maps yeah with strategies yes and new civilizations yes who are you <laughs> Not the hair we're used to. That's I'm for sure. perfect. Viper's in the blue. He's playing as the Aztecs, and uh, Hera has gone for Aztecs as well. Lately. Oh, this is Hera's opportunity to come right back in the game and possibly win it. Oh boy, and now you can see military just commanding lead here for the snake. It's it's so intense. Oh, if look you... at the top again. We have another fight there. He tried to wall in all the villagers. Here he's playing amazing. I'm impressed. It is going to be at least one more map, maybe even two, Tristan. Five to four. We have the dream fight final that we wanted. Uh, Hera is going to try. He, he tried his best and he failed. I'm, uh, I'm blocking Hera's camera, by the way, at the moment. He's at the uh, He's actually full on these, laughing at the moment. These clips. I love the spirit, man. Vipers uh, all smiles. Hera's stepping up and I think Hera's up there to say as well. So it's okay. going to be exciting going forward. Yeah, I think this is my f first big tournament top to like fin final. So yeah. definitely happy about that. This will count as Hera's first breakthrough performance, and he will face the Viper again in the finals of Hidden Cup 3 and in the semi-finals of the first Red Bull Wallolo, which he will both lose. But when 2021 shows up, the tides begin to turn. Hera wins Hidden Cup 4 and the Holy Cup, both major tournaments, and will place fairly high in all of the other tournaments. Well, look how old strong, the Canadian moves on. That surprises me with the, how strict the S tier uh, demands on Liquipedia are right now. Yeah, S tier, like a uh, Holy Cup? had a lot of uh, them you start with monks and things like Place that Plays fairly high in all of the other tournaments 23 year old strong the canadian moves on to winning one of the most important tournaments of 2022 a land event happening in germany in december with a hundred thousand dollar prize pool the grand melee that was a sick final i think Harold was up quite a bit and the Leary made a nice comeback and this win could mean a lot more than $40,000 in Hera's pocket. With his confidence levels rising, Hera will absolutely crush everyone in 2023. And once again, the reverse sweep is stopped in its tracks. Hera takes it 3-2. to two. That was a really crazy series. He's on the TC on the left. And Viper is losing villagers everywhere. GG, Leary. 3-0. Played up. Well, that was amazing. And Hera's been amazing. Hi. Yet another 3-0. Tata to calls it. And Hera. Is he is he beatable this tournament? It doesn't okay. look like it, does it? He's look, going five zero. Our very first semi final. If you're watching at home, welcome. We're gonna have a crazy. You're always hiding behind the monitor down there. Easy series of games. It's a five zero from Mr. Five zero, and Hera's into the finals. Some of the cleanest, most clinical play from Hera there. That was absolutely incredible. We join into game number one. NAC4 Finals, Leary against Hera. Hera's 30 Paladins in queue. He's looking to push this back. He senses the momentum is changing here. Leary taps out. We are 3-3 here into this best of nine. Both players needing two more wins. Hera splits up his forces now. Hera is getting more eco wow. kills. This was also sick so final. What a comeback there from Hera after a rough start. Wow, what a game. So many helps here for Leary. GG! Teams. We will see a game nine. Don't ask me how. Leary doesn't see any military from Hera. Imagine going for this strat in game nine. Yeah. Hera is trying something completely different. It might work. Every time we've seen the revolution in this tournament, it's worked three separate times. 
Will this be the time that it fails? Oh my from god, here we go. This here we is go. wild. Here is the Flemish Revolution. The button has been pressed, <laughs> and the military advances. Leary packing up. He's going home, okay. and he's going to try and defend. Here. And all the walls crumble here. Leary is absolutely terrified. Because you can't, you can't fight it. There's hand cannons outside the walls, Dave. You that tech used to be so broken. Thank god it's removed. I think I lost two times to it in the tournament as well. We don't have enough to stop this. We have a defense scenario from Leary as he tries to stop the Horde, trying to create choke points for himself. He's trying anything desperately to survive, and he calls the GG Hera. GG. Winning NAC4, dominant run from Ooh. him in a game nine. Most players agreed with me right now. Hera is the best player in the world. Along with an AC4, Hera will win King of the Desert 5, T90 Titans League Season 3, and Warlords 2. Sure, Viper has won more tournaments overall, but it's clear the competition is harder than it's ever been. Does winning a tournament in 2023 mean the same thing as winning a tournament in 2018? Hera has the best execution, he never loses a single unit without reason and never takes a bad fight. He's also a great decision maker, he never goes for a losing strategy, never makes questionable choices, and always finds a way to turn the game to his advantage. It's crazy, it looks like he doesn't have any weaknesses, he is Great decision maker, he never goes for a losing strategy, never makes questionable choices. Does anyone remember Hans Longswords? Not the best choice of worst words, Tiramis. And always finds a way to turn the game to his advantage. It's crazy, it looks like he doesn't have any weaknesses. He is smart enough to know when relying on his execution and playing meta is enough to win, but will also come up with crazy strategies when needed. Can Urian the Viper Larson still be considered as Urian? Nice one. It's the greatest of all times. Well, to reach your own, but to me, he still is. For now. Hera dominated 2023, but Viper dominated 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Hera has now won four major tournaments in a row, but Viper's record is eight. 2024 is upon us, and I'm very curious to see how it unfolds. Will Vipers move back to Twitch allow him enough practice time to come up with better strategies? Will his motivation be strong enough to what grind as relentlessly as Hera? Or will he slowly get used to third places and be remembered by third? his fans as the greatest of his time? Can't I at least have second place? Could have said second places, Tiramis, just saying. I would love to see more videos like this in, uh, in Age of Empires. That was really cool. That was a great video, I think. How much time did you spend on this, Tiramis? Because I feel like this was so much digging into like old footage. Stopped counting after 50 hours. Okay, that makes sense. No, yeah, great video. Um, was it accurate though? I would say for the most part it was accurate. I, I don't mean, well, there wasn't anything in there except the like, hair long swords that I, you can question, right? Most of it is uh, based on facts, right? Is this video for hair or the Viper? It's for neither. It's just a video about Age of Empires. Yeah, check it out and uh, subscribe to his channel. I believe the plan is for that he's gonna do more videos like this. Is Hera number one right now? Is there any doubt about that? When you win four S tier tournaments in a row, how can you how can you possibly argue about that? Is the gold fallen off his throne? Answer it. Was I ever on the throne? And am I the goat? I am a snake. That's how I uh, identify. I consider you the GOAT of 2010 onward, but I would think it's a bit too much to go all time when there were guys 2010 to, two, uh, 2000 to 2010 that were so good. Yeah, of course, it's like everyone that is around right now in Age of Empires, 99% are around since 2010 plus kind of thing. I, I think the whole era before that has kind of been forgotten by present day people, right? And obviously, like for me personally, like I was never around back then to know how good was Arch Coven, how good was all these other legends of the past, right? Tout is the goat. Arg I mean, you can't argue with that. There might be something to that. But yeah, to summarize, in the end, I think that was a really cool video. Very well done, to be honest. I think that was very nice. I would like to see more of those, of other people as well, of course. Just, it was a very cool documentary thing to, like, I would like to see more about this in Age of Empires in general. It would be really cool, right? Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as well, together with, with me and Tyrannus here.